Hi well I've uh, set out quite early this morning, it's just after six o'clock and uh, just going to take a little trip around the uh, front at Weymouth and uh, show you a couple of bits and pieces <coughs> from a different perspective because I'm using the mobility scooter to uh, travel around so uh, there it goes. Well, I'm just down at the uh, harbour now this little section of the harbour is still a working harbour with a few fishing boats and the uh, little ferry that goes to Portland and some boat trips and bits and pieces here. And the other side of the bridge you have the marina. And then just down the other side here we have a selection of bars and uh, restaurants. Absolutely wonderful place to meet up and join in with people. And we'll uh, just travel on down here where the old uh, train used to come down to the old uh, Sea Link terminal. Now over the uh, far side, if you uh, do cross over the, uh, the bridge, you can uh, probably just about see the uh, top of the uh, building with the scaffolding around it and that's the museum which is actually being restored at the moment but just before you get there if you <coughs> walk down there's a, um, a 16th century Tudor house uh, well, it might be 15th century actually you know in the 1600s yeah it might be 15th century but uh, all good stuff and uh, and further on down the far side of the way there you've got the uh, lifeboat station as well which is uh, very very useful facility to have and you're at the coast one of the great things around this area those are the, uh, the paths are reasonably level and reasonably smooth so it's not too bad when you're using your scooter I'm just going to uh, pull away from the uh, quayside for a little while now. Got one of the side roads here. And uh, you'll see uh, the raised section on the right there. That's where the old uh, platform was for the uh, boat trains when they used to arrive. And this is the uh, Alexander Gardens where the uh, pleasure park is. It's very, very attractive um, gardens here. Yes. We've got the amusement arcade inside this building. <coughs> the grounds are very, very well kept here. The poppies are just about coming to an end there. But... This is the uh, sand sculpture building. Very interesting what they do with the sand, very, very clever. We'll carry on. Every morning there's tractors on the beach as they rake it and clean it and it's kept absolutely pristine. This time of day you just look out and uh, you, you look across the 
the bay and you got a sense of peace and calm but uh, along this section of the beach you've got a lot more amusements you've got the uh, volleyball here and some, the uh, donkey rides run from here as well on the far side of the road again lots of guest houses eateries Surprising this time in the morning there's still so many people about. And coming along a beach in the south of England and we're surrounded by these beautiful palm trees. come along this little section past the end of the amusements on the beach as you go further in this direction the uh, the sand becomes firstly more coarse and then like a little shingle type thing Carry on a little further. As you come up to the central part of the beach, the uh, lifeguard station, is, uh, run by the RNLI. And, uh, plenty of beach facilities here. A key landmark, centre of the beach, the Royal Hotel there. popular site in the mornings you can see there they have a horse and a rider exercising early in the morning on the uh, beach a lovely site And just here we have the Jubilee Clock. As you can see, it's just turned half past six now. And this was erected for the Jubilee of Queen Victoria. The 
there were a few more ships in the bay yesterday, but they seem to have moved out overnight. And I'll just swing round here. Look at the far end of the bay there for a second. <coughs> And just there in the background is the Noth Fort. We took a trip up there the other day, which was a very enjoyable walk. And when you get to the top, some lovely gardens up there with extensive views over Portland Harbour, which is nice. We'll continue along. There are lots of little uh, ice cream bars and souvenir shops along the uh, front. It's probably one of the last ones we're going to run into because it's now all hotels and guest houses along this section. Along this section of the beach you've got these little um, Sort of beach huts which you can hire out by the day. Put your bits and pieces in, so a locker inside and you can enjoy the beach. <clears throat> we have war memorials here. Various different forces. And then what was the pier? Now called the pier bandstand just here. The pier's been demolished now, but it still has this rather sort of 1920s style Art Deco building. There's a couple of gift shops and uh, public loos and things inside. Flowers here are absolutely beautiful. Look at those really stunning flowers. All along the front is so well kept, well looked after. It's a joy to behold. We're now right down the far end of the beach. Some rather pleasant houses here. We have some more of the uh, the beach huts here, but <clears throat> you will notice that the sand has now gone, and the beach is all shingle at this part. So it is a quieter section of the beach. It's so pleasant to be out at this time of day. We've got a few people taking their morning constitutionals, walking their dogs, or going for a bit of a jog. Really lovely. Oh, it's going to head on a little bit further down here. Oh, a little uh, area over here on the left of us out there. It's called Green Hill Gardens. Have a look at some of the lovely plants and things in here. Oh, there's a rather splendid cafe area here where you can sit and enjoy the wonderful views across the sea. If I just swing round, you can see what I mean by those views. Absolutely stunning. That's the way to spend a morning, I tell you, up here. Oh, lovely planting. 
Lots of pelagoniums in there and some marigolds. There'll be salvias up the top here. Purple spears on those. And you've got a floral clock in here. Let's see if I can get that into the uh, camera. That's the uh, the floral clock. Wonderful. It's really, really peaceful. There we are. There's uh, another floral display here. This one is for the RNLI for the lifeboats. 200th anniversary. Fantastic. Really beautiful work. Uh, swing round and uh, we can just see uh, in the distance there the uh, entrance to Portland Harbour and the high section of land Right on the horizon is the Isle of Portland itself. Wonderful. Oh, well, it's time to head back to, uh, well, I guess, house and uh, have some breakfast, I think.